Hi, so in part one I showed you how to design this block in Scan and Cut Canvas. In part two I showed you how I cut it all and how I assembled it all. And this is now part three. I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn this into a cushion now. So I've cut two pieces of fabric which are 17 inches wide and this is... about 11 inches long. Now this looks like plain white fabric but it's actually got a pattern on. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it but there is a like a mottled pattern on it. So basically what I'm going to do, oh and the, the, I've, I've also along one long edge I've run it through my overlocker. You don't have to do that but I like to do that. I just find it helps me when I'm um, going to be sewing my seam for my for my opening edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fabrics and I'm going to fold in just about somewhere between a quarter and a half, just enough that I can sew this down here and top stitch it. And I'm going to do that on both pieces. So this is the wrong side of my fabric so I'm literally going to turn it over and then just top stitch along there and I'm now back on my ordinary sewing foot and just on a regular straight stitch. So that's one done. I'm just going to do the other and then I'll show you how to assemble it so it's nearly finished now. Okay, so I've done those now, they're the seams, that's the right side, that's the wrong side. So how you're going to assemble this now is get your block and you're going to get your two back pieces and you're going to put them right sides together. So the first thing I'm going to do is put right sides together and line up raw, all the raw edges. So like so. So the sewn seam you've just done is in like the middle of your your block if you like and then same with this one right side down lining up all the raw edges and then either pin it or clip it however you want to do it I'm just going to line up my corners and just put some clips in it Just going to put some clips where this all joins and then I'm going to just sew all the way around it. Now what I like to do with cushions, I sew them just with an ordinary straight stitch with the stitch set in the middle of my needle and then I go round with my overlocker. If you don't have an overlocker you could either just do a second row of stitching within the seam allowance or use a zigzag or just leave it blank or pink it with pinking shears, it's entirely up to you. But I like to sew mine and then I just run round them with the overlocker. So that's what I'm going to do next and then it's nearly finished. I'm sewing something like this, I just use the edge of my foot as a guide. So I've just got my machine set to a normal straight stitch with the needle in the middle and I line the edge of the foot up with the edge of the fabric and just sew all the way around. And then as I say, I run mine through the overlocker as well. When you get to the parts here where you've got the double layers, just go backwards and forwards there, backwards and forwards there and do the same on the opposite side just to reinforce because that's the opening that you're going to be put stuffing your cushion in and out of when you come to wash it and things. So I can feel it's here. My machine is making a funny noise since I broke that needle. I'm going to have to have a, a good look at it. 
stop with your needle in the down position, pivot and carry on. That's how it's looking and I'm just going to run it through the overlocker. Okay, there it is. So now I'm just going to turn it right side out. Just gently tease out these corners. And there it is nice good overlap there so that you can slide your cushion in and there's the front of it just needs a nice press now and a cushion inside it so what do you think so some some scraps half a yard of fabric all cut with the scan and cut all sewn together and a lovely cushion so I'll get a cushion pad in it and I'll put a photograph of that in at the end. If you've not seen part two or part one of the video, I will link it all. I'll put an information eye in the top right hand corner of this video, which will link to all, all three parts. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.